I appreciate you watching me as we make history on Rasta's Realities. Let's go. Tell me and I forget. Teach me and I remember. Involve me and I learn. Benjamin Franklin. So I caught an episode of Pawn Stars. And yes, I know it is scripted. But on this episode, a poster came in that turned out to be a reprint as opposed to the genuine uh, uh, item or article. The poster was of a wanted poster of John Wilkes Booth, the Lincoln assassinator. In the, in the moment, someone mentioned that killers, in particular uh, famous ones, have three names. Now, this intrigued me to why that was. And so the research began. I love research as it provides substance, especially here on YouTube and on this channel. I appreciate you for watching and or listening. Now, what I found was an article on the subject matter. There were many, but this is the one that I chose. Um, uh, so what I'll do here is I will put on screen parts of it. And also I will read aloud and give my thoughts um, and comments on what it is that I'm reading. Uh, one also the article will be with well, this particular article will be in the description below for your viewing pleasure and I'm pretty sure you can find others on your own that is different and or similar to this one now 52 days of learning is a series that I figured I would do as they involve quotes from famous and or philanthropic uh, people or men in history. Um, this, uh, I believe, would be video number three, I think. Um, and I use this, this series also will be a standalone of video series along with my regular videos that I will that I will publish um, for the people and for myself as well because it's it's a learning it's a learning process. So without further ado, let's get to it. The article I chose was by the explainer Why do so many assassins have three names? The suspected gunman in Arizona is Jared Lee Loeffner, of course. Gabrielle Giffords, a third term member of Congress from Arizona, is in critical condition after being shot in the head Saturday. I'm pretty sure some of you remember this story. Authorities have identified the would-be assassin as 22-year-old Jared Lee Loeffner of Tucson. Noted political assassins Lee Harvey Oswald, James Earl Ray, and John Wilkes Booth also used three names. So did the man who shot John Lennon, Mark David Chapman, and several notable serial killers, Gary Leon Ridgway, John Wayne Gacy, and Paul John Knowles are also known by three names. In fact, nine of the top 20 serial killers in the United States ranked by body count are known by three names. Is there a reason so many murderers use their middle names? It seems to be a coincidence. The three most famous political assassins in U.S. history used their middle names, but many others did not. For example, of the 12 people who have made legitimate attempts to kill a U.S. president, former president, or president-elect, only Booth Oswald and would-be Ford assassin Sarah Jane Moore are commonly referred to by three names. Some references to Garfield assassin Charles 
Gato. Include his middle name, Julius, but others do not. If you don't remember the other eight two named assassins on that list, it's because most of them were unsuccessful. Consider Richard Lawrence, who failed spectacularly in his 1835 attempt to shoot Andrew Jackson and John Hinckley Jr who delivered a non-fatal wound to Ronald Reagan in 1981. There is one successful presidential assassin with only two names in history. Books, but Leon Zargas, I believe that's how you say that, has faded into relative obscurity along with his victim, William McKinley. It is often assumed that three names are used to identify an infamous killer so as to avoid cases of mistaken identity. So other guys named Lee Oswald wouldn't have their reputations besmirched, for example. But some of the most famous three named assassins identified themselves as such before they committed their crimes. John Wilkes Booth, a well-known actor, preferred to use his middle name in professional settings before he murdered Abraham Lincoln. Playbills listed him as either John Wilkes Booth or J. Wilkes Booth. Not all actors of the period used three names, though. Booth's father and brother, Janius Brutus Booth Sr. and Jr. both used their middle names in playbills, but, but his more famous brother, Edwin, did not. Garfield's assassin, Charles Julius Gateau, used his middle name in some settings, but not others. So did the newspapers. So I will leave it there. And as I said before, the article is in the description below. Uh, for you to read the full article, but I just thought it was very interesting that most to all uh, famous assassins had three names versus two. And, and to be honest, I did not pay attention to that until that episode of The Pawn Stars. So sh a shout out and salute to them.